<laughs> si Kodja, you got to do some other work in the morning in the home. Oh, yes. I know. <laughs> Today, we're picking the baking. Today, Peri Lankini auntie is coming. She's just joining. She is the one who taught us lavash bread. That yummy uh, lavash sticks, no? Uh, she's, she's coming a, again. Why you you're not teaching? Today I am not teaching. I'll teach next week. <laughs> Because I like you. That's why. We have to learn different different things, no? That's why you <laughs> doing. <laughs> yes. You also doing. I bought one small. I also. Cake. Wow. Yeah, Shilpa. I bought one small cake tin. Okay. Okay. We will uh, let her join. We'll uh, show her our pans, and then uh, you can decide. Good yeah. afternoon, everyone. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Hi. Good to see you. My son also wants to get introduced. Hey, how are you? Pratima, uh, Parilankini auntie's son also wants to say hello to everyone. Hi. Hi, Anita. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Angel. Hi, Angel. How are you? Hi. Good. <laughs> Hi. Oh, so cute. So good to see you all. Hi, Bimal. Hi. Hi. No, what is your name? What are your names? Say, what is your name? Paisam. Paisam, my love. What is your name? Paisam. <laughs> What's your name? Like name. Hmm. How can we call you? We want to call you by your name. Hmm. <laughs> okay. God bless you. So, just a minute. Amen. Asairam Purna ji. Just take butter. Purna ji, you are on mute. Sairam. Sairam, how are you? Yeah, doing good. Good. Hot, hotter, hottest it has become. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, summer. So today, Meera was able to identify different degrees in different places. So, Pahim Pratap seems to be wow. better than Kenai and... Hey, Archana, how are you? Sairam. Louder. Why? Well, that is not needed. Ah, no worries. <laughs> no, no, I'm giving you. Why can't you talk louder? Already, everybody, how many of yes. you are from Lalapas are there? We will start. We will start, right, Ektaji? And Padma, we can start, right? Uh, we'll start, uh, Parilankini? Yes, yes, sure. Yeah. sure, sure. So, three ohms, Purna ji can start. Yes. Good afternoon. What are we doing today? We are going to make apple tart today. Wow. How many of you wanted to eat tart? Long time pending tart. tart. <laughs> Meera, where are you running away? Why, what are we going to make today? Apple. Apple. Very good. Give it. Very good, Meera. So we are making apple tart. So... Yes. Yeah. So we'll welcome Auntie. Hi, welcome everyone. Hi, 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 hi. Hi to everybody. Okay, she's going to talk about ingredients. What all we have to use? Let us see whether we have everything. Yes, yes. You can start, Padma. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Uh, so I would like to give a basic difference between uh, a theory part of uh, tart dishes and uh, uh, plants. Okay. 
uh, Anpais, uh, I just want to give a brief discussion about the difference between all this. Uh, though we are not going to make it in a professional way, I just want to give an introduction so that you will have an idea about it. Um, uh, so what are pies? Pies is some, uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am, yes. you are audible. Okay, okay. So, uh, uh, tarts are uh, something with either custard or fruit filling or uh, uh, savory filling, which uh, has a flaky uh, crust. That is termed as uh, pies typically. And uh, whereas the difference between pie and tart is uh, a pie is a closed uh, crust. Well, that is the top also will be filled and uh, the bottom also will have the dough. Whereas the uh, tarts will have an open filling. That is like you can see what the filling is and uh, yeah, it will uh, make the uh, what the filling more attractive. Uh, whereas in the pie, you won't be able to see the filling. Uh, you will just have uh, the dough on top. Uh, it might have some patterns also. It might be totally closed with uh, just a cross in the center or it might even have a uh, lattice pattern or any, any sort of pattern. You can just have a uh, uh, polka dot pattern or uh, many variants of uh, uh, just your own creativity in uh, pies. Uh, as in pies, you can have uh, filling can be either uh, fruits, with uh, tart flavor, like as in um, apricot. Uh, you can even uh, Indianize it uh, by uh, using local fruits, which are available like uh, even mango. And uh, banana goes well with uh, uh, caramel flavor. So salted uh, caramel is an exact option with uh, that can pair up with uh, any of the fruits available but uh, rather when you when we see in western countries we That's find right. apricots and uh, tarty fruits like uh, berries any any sort of berries for that matter like uh, blueberry Strawberry. uh, strawberries raspberries uh, uh, and, uh, yeah even cherries uh, you can even have uh, chocolate filling or Banana. chocolate ganache filling or chocolate ganache filling, or you can even have a uh, salted caramel filling. Mm. So, so you, uh, that is your own creativity. Uh, whereas you come to tarts, the tarts have the uh, crust, which are uh, a lot firmer. It is not as flakier as, as it is in the... It is not as flakier as it is in the pies. Rather, it is uh, it is firmer, and it can hold. Uh, uh, the pies are usually uh, made in the big pans, uh, whereas uh, the tarts are made in smaller pans, and uh, they they are firm so that. Uh, uh, they are more, uh, the liquid content of the tart is more when compared to that of the pies. But uh, nowadays, uh, we do a lot of uh, fusion uh, baking. Like we have a layer of uh, even cake inside the tarts. Uh, I would rather suggest you bake the tart shells separately, like how you make uh, the pie. The recipe which I have given is for the pie because I like the crust to be flakier. And since we bake uh, the filling together along with the uh, crust, uh, it would taste good when it is flakier and it would be a lot uh, more uh, crispier. But when you are uh, planning to store the pie, it might go softer or soggier. So it is always better when you when you have plans of storing it, it is better that you bake the shells alone separately and you uh, make a coating of chocolate, uh, whatever you prefer, like uh, dark or milk or white, whatever. And uh, the filling alone you can cook separately and uh, you can uh, add it into it or rather if you even have fruit filling or you can even add uh, fruit fillings uh, uh, separately sorry for the noise from my kids and uh, 
the fillings are the fillings are uh, uh, added in the tart shell so that it can store good uh, for a longer uh, time it it will it will be fresh and it will be uh, the shells also will be crispier and uh, so these are think wish or something which uh, which is wish are things which are uh, uh, savory in uh, taste which has usually which, which was usually baked with a custard filling egg custard filling but if you are going for eggless options there are few options for eggless also like uh, corn flour can be added into the uh, milk and butter uh, mixture like how we make for uh, pastas or sandwiches like how you make uh, why bechamel sauce in a similar way you can make the eggless uh, fillings also for the kush um, so right now can we start with it or you have any doubt in the theoretical part you uh, did you all understand what she told yeah. uh, did you all understand there are different types of filling and tash she was talking about right so uh, can, we, can we move on yeah, Perilankini, one doubt. One, can we do the atta today instead of maida? Yes, With definitely. With a little more moisture, can. no? And the uh, yeah. other thing, the... And I, I have another one uh, suggestion also for you. Uh, mm. I suggested that when you bake that and store it, uh, you can bake the shell separately. In that case, uh, it would be even better that you use the uh, same quantity of butter in the dough for the double uh, quantity of the rest of the ingredients. That is, uh, you're making more firmer dough for the tart. Like, uh, I would suggest the same. Uh, now the recipe calls for 90 grams of butter for one cup of uh, uh, all-purpose flour or uh, atta, as, as you would uh, prefer. But uh, in, in that case, if you're uh, storing the shells separately, you can just use the 90 grams of butter for two cups of uh, flour. Okay. And use uh, six spoons of uh, water approximately, like how much it takes to make a firm dough, just to clump it together. That is how uh, you make the dough uh, for, shoring, uh, for storing the shells. Okay, okay. And uh, Perilankini, is there a sour cream also used for the fillings along with the custard? Yes, you can definitely use that. Uh, in case of uh, savory, also you can use. And uh, sour cream is uh, good to go with even uh, cheesecake filling. In case mm. you are planning to uh, make cheesecake fillings. The filling itself nowadays, because we do a lot of uh, fusion tarts, in case you are planning to make uh, cheesecake fillings inside the, tar inside the tart, You'll have to bake the tart shells separately yeah. and go through with a layer of chocolate. Like as I said, you have uh, three variants. Uh, you can use either dark or uh, milk or white. Uh, uh, just a coat of it so that it doesn't get soggy with the filling. Right, right. Okay, so that is the thing. Um, we are making the pie. The filling should be with it mostly. If it's a tart, we just make the shells and we can use it later. Right, Raylanki? Uh, also you can do that but uh, rather when you uh, do quish uh, you, you won't be able to use the chocolate layer as it is going yeah. to be, it doesn't go blend well with this uh, with the with the tart shell mm. and the savory filling right and that would be too sweet in between yes so that will be a different uh, Recipe. Yeah. Some other day we can do. Yes, yes. Purnaji, some questions? Uh, uh, actually, they were asking whether they can use honey instead of, because last time when they prepared honey, many of them had little kind of, not much of their uh, laughing and things like that, because they were very high. But can we use honey instead of sugar? Instead of sugar, this recipe, uh, because we wanted to thicken, uh, it is not possible. Probably with the dough, you can uh, replace the sugar with the honey. Okay. That is possible. And okay. even uh, you can either use uh, whole atta or you can replace half of the maida with atta as, as, my, as you prefer. I haven't tried multigrain yet. Probably if you wish, you can add that also. Probably. But uh, since that would uh, break the dough and it will not, uh, you know, uh, the gluten content will go down. So it is all better that uh, you use, even if you go for multigrain, probably some 20% uh, 
replacement would be fine. Okay. Not mm -hmm. more than that. It might break the dough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We'll start. We'll start. So first, let us start with making dough. Here I am. This is the cup of maida that I'm using for the, for the dough. I'm emptying it into the mixing bowl. And uh, let me see which cup, ma'am, this one. No, this, I have just dispensed it inside this. It is a regular standard uh, one cup measure, which is 240 ml of the cup. You want me to show the cup now? Uh -huh. Just a minute. So, uh, uh, same cup what we use for everything, uh, Bina. Okay, same okay. cup. One cup is only that. No okay. other variant. Okay. This is put into the chilled bowl, ma'am. You must take that chill ball. Okay. Okay, ma'am. I think she's going to go bring the a, cup. This is the standard uh, ah, okay. one cup measure, which is uh, 240 ml. Mm. We must take that chill ball, ma'am, for this. Yeah, but I didn't take it. If you if you wish, you can. Take we have it. all put the chilled one. Which but you I chilled the, the water. I have chilled it uh, very nicely and chilled the butter also. That is very essential. Okay. Have you chilled no. the butter? Yeah. Please. Ah, yes, that would be fine. So let us uh, crumble the butter into the. So do we add the salt and sugar in the water? Yes, yes, yes. We do add that also. Sorry that I skipped it. How much sugar do we have for here? One teaspoon, right? Uh, yeah. One teaspoon and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Yeah. Salt is optional if you wish you can add. But that enhances the taste of the sugar. That brings in the flavor of sugar. The sugar, it's okay if it is granulated sugar. This is granulated sugar. Castor sugar is preferable, but I myself have used uh, granulated sugar because that's that is what was available at home. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. If you have two warm hands, then you can also have a cooling pad close by and you can... Uh, uh, you know, uh, chill your fingers now and then. Because uh, the bread which is formed only, uh, you know, uh, creates the flaky uh, texture. It creates the air pockets where it uh, melts down during the baking process and it uh, enhances the flavor and also causes the air pockets where it makes the texture very flaky. So it's very essential that the butter is firm really firm and you also refrigerate the dough before baking that is also essential ma'am i can't see the camera can you can keep closer the dough can you see yes, you can see she was asking us to you put the this thing no, no. and you know you have the butter slice right so you have to keep doing this kind of thing you can see purna ji is also all she's doing is mixing the water with the ah, see how she's doing no, I can't see, ma'am. The camera's not. Okay, clear. then just you can see a Purna ji. See. Can you see? No, ma'am. Maybe see, you can see mine. Able... Check. I. So it's just butter in the atta. That's it. We must yeah. have the butter now. See. Sorry. See. Can you see no. now? Just now. The butter atta like this, and then do. See. Only um, fingers. She's doing with the fingers. Right? Have you, uh, Shilpa's mom? Have you put the salt and sugar in the atta? No, no, no. Put the salt, one fourth teaspoon salt, huh. and one teaspoon of sugar in the atta. Okay. 
and the butter also. Then um, first you put that, then take chilled butter. One teaspoon of uh, sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nikki, don't disturb me here. Yeah, we can see her nicely now. I can see very well. Yeah. So I think she missed uh, putting the sugar and salt. We can see. We can see. That's it. Just add one or two tablespoons of water just to bring the dough together. Should be really hey. chill. So this should be first very crumbly uh, prelangini, like yeah. bread crumbs kind of. Yes, yes, yes. And, and then we add the water, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So uh, Shilpa's mom, now you add the butter and with your fingers oh. mix the whole thing like it should be very crumbly. Okay, mix it all nicely with your hands, fingers. Uh, so, uh, water, we'll start with two tablespoons, Perilankini? Yes, yes, yes. Two or three tablespoons should be fine. Okay. So, Atta may be more needed, no? We'll check. Atta, yes. Atta, we'll Atta, 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 more. Yes. Very true. Madam, I have put the maida. One cup. You have put the maida. Okay, no problem. Take around two to three. Ma'am, for, ma for me, only one teaspoon holds the uh, dough together. Ah, okay, fine. Okay, fine. That's fine. No problem. I think uh, I, I did not put half an hour in freezer. I think I should have done that, right? Makes the butter very, very solid, maybe. Yes. As what you said, it? as you said, we should chill it very nicely, the butter. Yes. Otherwise, melts. But that's fine. Anyways, we are going to uh, mix it. it. Okay. Okay. So Okay, perfect. Ma'am, what your do is now after adding the water? Yes. I I can see the dough that you have made. Is that after adding water? Yes, yes, yes. I have added okay. two, two tablespoons of water for this. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Is this okay, right? Show me. I, uh, who's this? I can pin you. Anna uh, Yeah, that is that is perfect. That is perfect. Mine has. I have added a little more of water, so I'm just correcting it with a little with a. See, I also want a little more water. I think. See, it's like this. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. So what do you do? You just add a little more of flour. It will just be okay. Just I added yes. only one and a half. Uh, for me, one. One tablespoon with that. Water was quite soft. You right? added more. Uh, you can just uh, correct it with a little bit of flour. Just a tablespoon of flour or something. So. This is okay, right? The texture should be non-sticky at the time. And it, 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 will soft. it will not be like chapati dough, but it will look like a chapati dough. Yeah, looks good, looks good, Pratibha. Preeja. Parilankhni, I think they all want to show you the dough. Uh, Pratibha, Preeja and uh, Rema. Yeah, I can't see the dough. 
Um, Perilankini, can you check their dose? Yes, yes. I'll... Yeah. For me? For whom should I check? Uh, uh, Meera, Rema, uh, Prija, and Pratiba. Shilpa. Pratiba, Swami, or do? Yours is, uh, I think it is, it is a little more sticky. I think it is better. Pratiba, you add a uh, uh, tablespoon of uh, flour to it. Pratiba, yes. add some flour, one tablespoon. Little. Uh, Ma'am, mine is very sticky. Shilpa, can I uh, see yours? You you can just show me your, with your hand. I'm not properly. Uh, it is can not formed, no? The dough is not formed. It should not fall. Ah, it should not fall. It should, be, it should come together. I think uh, it was less of water. Show me close, Shilpa. She hasn't uh, made a dough. Maybe little more water. Ah, little more water is needed. Okay. Maybe Mira, half spoon. Mira, I think. Mira, huh? it looks good. That's okay, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it looks good, no? Ah, uh, Mira, this looks good. And even uh, Prija is also fine. Prija, yours is fine, Prija. And so what do we do now? We just put the... So how do you all want to do? You want to do it with uh, tart today with the open filling or you want to close it with some pattern? We can do both. Both we can do. Okay, we will do that. We will do the pattern in case if yeah. you want to do without the uh, with just the filling, probably you can uh, try it. Yeah, sure. Can we use this kind of mold just in time? Can you keep the uh, camera closer, man? I can't see you. Can everyone mute themselves? There is some disturbance. Anita, Shilpa, can you just mute? So the dough is getting too soft because of the weather. So I ask you to split it into two and uh, cling film it and you can uh, store it in the freezer. Because we put it in the fridge, it will take longer time for it to uh, harden. So it is better that we put it in the freezer now. Okay? Yes. I'll just divide it into two. Cling film it. Divide into two halves or uh, one fourth and three fourth? Um, yeah, uh, I think that is better. Yeah, yeah. One we can store it for the pattern. Ah, uh, okay. So one fourth and three fourth. The man. No, no, no. Uh, three half portions. and half. Three hmm? portions. Ah, okay. Take the man. So three yes. equal portions, like I have done here. I think you can see. Ah, it. okay. Three equal portions. Okay. Yes. Yes, Pratibha. See mine. Yeah, I think it looks good now. So you uh, divide it into three parts. Yes, I'm telling three my parts. Two, uh, one for three. the pattern and two for the uh, bottom part. Okay. 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 So we this we don't have to do uh, in the winters. In the winters, you can just uh, divide as uh, Ekta Ma'am said. You can just divide it into uh, just uh, for the bottom uh, together and uh, the top lattice persons. Uh, uh, pattern you can have one fourth of it separately. Okay. And rest three fourth of it you can cling film it into uh, one piece itself. But since this is summer and we we'll, it will be difficult for us to work with it, it is always easier uh, to refrigerate it in this way. Okay. Correct, ma'am. See the door, mine. Show me. Shilpa. Oh, yes, yes. It's correct. Yes, Shilpa. Okay. Is it sticky in your hands? Does it feel sticky? Yeah, it is sticky. Oh, it's not sticky. You can add a tablespoon of flour. Oh. One tablespoon or two tablespoon. Uh, one should be a little big, right? What? One portion can be big too. No, no, all three equal. All, all three, three should all be equal. Three. Okay. Yes. You must keep in freezer, ma'am. Yes. I'm 
now it is correct see show me yeah yeah perfect ek oh. time ma'am make three balls yes pratiba we 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 have to close all uh, we have yeah to... all three balls put in the cling wrap separately and put in freezer okay Ma'am, I have not that cover, so I kept it in bowl, three balls, so it uh, together. Yes, yes, no problem. You can just wrap it up so that uh, it doesn't uh, dry up. This is this is the purpose of just uh, you know uh, stopping it from drying up and to retain the moisture. But since this has lot of butter, even that is not needed. You can just uh, put it in a bowl and uh, put it in the freezer. Now we can have ordinary cover. I cover that one man would ordinary cover. I put it. Yes, even ordinary cover you can put, or you can even put it in the Ziploc pouches in in case if that is available, or you can just refrigerate it. Uh, sorry, uh, put it in the freezer with a bowl. Oh. After putting it in the freezer, now let us start working on the apple uh, filling. So, have you all finished it with it? So, can we start up with preparing the apple filling? Yes. So, so what do we do first? Let us uh, peel out the skin and uh, remove the stem and uh, seeds of it. green apple or any crunchy apple as i have mentioned earlier like red delicious or uh, green apple green apple is preferable if that is not available then you can go on with red delicious the only problem with using the regular uh, shimla apples will be uh, it would start uh, letting out lot of water when you use crunchier apples it uh, it stays firm and the apple pie doesn't sink too much even the tarts also it doesn't sink too much after baking but uh, rather if you have only uh, shimla apples available and if you still want to do apple tarts you can uh, go ahead by uh, making the filling separately and uh, don't have to bake it make the filling separately uh, uh, make the tart shells separately and uh, coat the tart shells with chocolate and you can add in the filling because it will start oozing water also uh, and it will uh, you know uh, it is better that you don't cube it just you mince it nicely and uh, make a jam out of it you can also use ready made fruit fillings or jams also in the in the same manner uh, peri lankini uh, if yeah. we want to keep some tarts open and without this filling shall we make half of it shall we you know because this filling uh, shall we make half the recipe if we want if we don't want all with the apple filling 
accordingly uh, the students can do right you want to uh, you know half the dough recipe uh, no the... no half this filling recipe if we don't want the full uh, all the tarts to be this way no so then we can take one one fourth apple that way for the filling i'm saying uh, oh you just want uh, quantity want to be half filled yeah yeah uh, no no not half filled uh, huh we can some we can make tarts like chocolate tarts or open for the fruit tarts if we are planning to do that so then those people can have half the recipe of the filling as in instead of taking two and a half apples and half cup brown sugar we can take no, half the I mean, like, uh, the apples shrink a lot uh, during baking uh, though if you fill it uh, to the full height and even that uh, shells also shrink okay because of a lot of butter right since okay. uh, we softer softer uh, we want it to be softer we don't want it to be uh, you know uh, very difficult to bite on if you okay. that's why we have uh, plenty of butter in it so because it has butter what happens is like uh, the butter content obviously you can see that uh, it is a lot more for a cup of uh, flour 90 grams of butter is a lot more the the reason for it to have a soft and flaky texture but because of that reason the tarts tend to shrink even mm. the pies for that matter when you uh, you know try to bake it just to bring down the shrinking percentage we uh, freeze it again and again in spite of all that in case uh, i'll just show you the example with this pie uh, mold this mold is there you start making the dough with this mold and you make it to the full height the the you know the result which you get out of it after complete baking will be only 3/4 of it yeah yeah we sure i think we'll make the full recipe and then we I can think, i think we can make for a yeah. amount of uh, what we have to make one try only what she has given us yeah yes. yeah we'll do a lot that's why that's why i suggested it that way but if yeah. you uh, want uh, little filling uh, you you want the filling to be lesser just to reduce the sugar content you can uh, uh, go ahead that way too I will make the fulfilling. We can use it any time, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. Okay. We have cut. I put the lemon juice also. How small the pieces should be? How much apple we should take? One and half. Ma'am, I am taking half kg of apple. Ma'am, I'm just show how small the pieces, ma'am. I didn't see. I have done small. I don't know whether it has to be this small. <laughs> I have done small. See. Ah. Okay. When she says it is going to shrink, then the mine is not going to be seen at all. Is it so small? Ma'am, I have taken two apple, half kg. Okay. Uh, so, so the pieces uh, of apple how to cut is crunchy or it is uh, non crunchy crunchy mine is very crunchy crunchy uh, crunchy variety uh, okay that is fine uh, ma'am uh, how is available you can take uh, only thing is that you can fill a little lesser in case uh, the filling doesn't uh, you know is not sufficient for you to fill uh, the whole of the shell you can just fill it three fourth or a little lesser no no issues it would still taste good oh. only thing is that apple shrinks with uh, heat size the of the cutting apple how to cut it? cut the apple you can cut it into cubes if you have uh, softer uh, softer apples then uh, you will have to uh, uh, you know put it in a mixer or something like that because it uh, it will start oozing lot of water ma'am we must uh, peel the uh, this yes 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 i will start yes yes we will start she's showing she's showing she's showing go ahead so just chop them into small size cubes ah uh, ma'am we must peel it peel it peel it yes peel it peel out the skins Nikki, can you please stop it? Ma'am, 
Don't trouble me, Ram. Sarunya, you are not on mute. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Feel there. I hope I'm clear. If anybody have any doubts, you can ask me then and there. For me, it's clear. Anybody has doubt? If you have doubt, raise your hand. Or just say, show thumbs up. I think all are busy with uh, peeling the apples. Yeah, it's all clear, Perilantini. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anna is a good helper. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. Thank you. Yes. Though the uh, apples tend to get cooked, uh, you can uh, feel the texture of apples in, uh, in between the saucy filling. So in case, uh, if you're a person who, who's looking for a same texture and you don't like textural differences, you can obviously you can mince it nicely or you can even run it in a mixie and then, uh, uh, you know, thicken it on a stove. It all depends on your own uh, preference. 
even if you like some nuts or raisins in it, you are uh, free to add even that in the filling. Ma'am, can you see that like this? It's enough. The cubes. Huh? Cubes. I'll just show you. It it is it is up to you. Like however you wish, you can. This was the size of the tile. No, no, I can't see you. I can't. You can't. No. Rija is eating the apple. <laughs> okay, there. Okay, okay, okay. It is tempting, no? Ah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice flavor. You know what? After squeezing the lime, I ate and saw it was really tasty. <laughs> So we just have to mix it all and uh, keep it aside in a pan. The uh, sugar in a pan or in a you can even uh, add it in any sort of vessel in a bowl or something. Mm -hmm. Just for this to drain the water. Right. And the butter has to be melted. We have to put one teaspoon butter in this. Yes. 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 But uh, it need not be melted. You can just add it. Okay. With this temperature, it will melt by itself. Butter we have to add to the apples, ma'am. Huh? Butter we have to add to the shocked apple. Yes, yeah, we have to add. Perilankmi, uh, okay. I'll tell her all the ingredients. No, you have to yes, add yes. half cup sugar if brown sugar you're oh. using. You have to use uh, one teaspoon of cinnamon powder and half teaspoon nutmeg powder, hmm. pinch of salt. All this to be added in the apple and mix it. Even you, you can skip out the cinnamon powder and uh, the nutmeg powder if you uh, don't like the flavor. You uh, uh, all the other flavors that you like with apple can also be uh, added to it. Like some people might uh, even like ginger. So you can add a pinch of nicely shredded ginger to it, or you you can even add little mint leaves. Mint leaves also go well with uh, apples. Oh, okay. Yeah, even if you like uh, stronger versions, you can go in for uh, rosemary also. Oh, a single stalk of rosemary is adequate. If you add too much, it will overpower. A dash of it. A dash. Of it. Uh, lime, ju uh, lime juice will uh, help you to prevent the browning. It is, it is optional if you like, you can add. It will just help in uh, preventing the browning. That's all. So this all has to be added, not kept on the stove, right ma'am? No, 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 not right now. You, you, you have to wait for 15 minutes. It will let out water. Or you can do it uh, along with the apple itself. With the apple, you can uh, do it on the stove. I'm not letting out any water. Huh? I don't get any water. I think 15 minutes, uh, another 10 minutes you need to keep. And you, uh, after chopping the apples, you need to add half cup of uh, sugar. It can either be quarter cup of uh, brown sugar and quarter cup of white sugar or uh, half cup of brown sugar itself or half a cup of white sugar itself. In any form, you can add it. Excellent smell. Wow. In case there is not much water, what do you do it? No, actually it will let out water. Let out, huh? Yes, water. definitely. <laughs> because sugar is there, no? Okay. Because of the sugar, it will start letting out water. I have finished my cutting. You have finished your cutting? Good. You can go ahead by adding a teaspoon of butter to it and adding a tablespoon of flour. 
that is mango or wheat flour any flour one tablespoon you have to add and you can add half a cup of sugar half a cup of sugar if you want uh, only white sugar or brown sugar or quarter cup brown sugar or quarter cup uh, white sugar i have measured the half cup of uh, sugar and quarter cup of uh, brown sugar huh measure that uh, sugar and um, brown sugar half cup and a quarter cup quarter cup of brown sugar and quarter cup of white sugar if you want to use both or ah. only half a cup of any sugar you want i put the double see uh, me hmm? uh, you want to put both brown and white or you want to add only brown she i think she is adding both white fully white then brown if it is only brown then half cup otherwise you have to take one fourth one fourth Reena, okay, put one half cup of um, brown sugar, ma'am. Only one that. If you are putting half cup, she said only use brown sugar half cup, yes, yes, or yes. only white sugar half half cup. But if you want to combine two things, then you take quarter of brown sugar and quarter of white sugar. No, I think of mixing. Total quantity is only half cup. Okay. and then add a pinch of salt also we yeah. know you have to add a pinch of salt also so what all you added i have added um, one tablespoon of uh, maida and mm -hmm. uh, brown sugar mm -hmm. and, and one, pinch, one pinch of uh, apple uh, salt one pinch of powder salt. and you can add cinnamon powder if you have you can add cinnamon powder half teaspoon okay nutmeg powder if you add if you want if you have you can add half teaspoon or else you, you can skip it i have both you want to uh, you have both then add half half teaspoons of each if you like it or if you don't like it she said don't, don't like it. skip it. I'll put the nutmeg to the mat. Yes, you can add that. Or you can you use even allspice powder if it is available, like pumpkin spice powder also. Like whatever is available, you can make use of. One teaspoon of butter. Teaspoon. Yes, one teaspoon of butter. <laughs> So I finished chopping now. People have a look. This is the chopped apples, and now I'm going to add a dash of lime to it. And here I've got my white sugar, cinnamon powder, and a pinch of salt in this. I'm also going to add this here. i've got a tablespoon of maida here which i'm adding in and this brown sugar too so let us just mix it Just mix it well. The oozing out of liquid will take some time. So let us keep it aside, and especially it depends on the size of the crystals of the sugar which we use. In case if we are using granulated sugar, it takes little time. 
when we use starter sugar or uh, fine sugar it lets out immediately now only i think uh, while mixing you can see that it is oozing out little of water yes can you people see yes yes the texture for me only now it is slowly water is coming okay even if it doesn't let out water no issues okay so let us just leave this aside so fine can we start shaping the dough now yeah has everyone finished or you want you want me to wait I think all have finished. I have done. Show your thumbs up. Yeah, all done. Uh, all done. So, can we uh, leave it aside for uh, water to ooze out, and can we uh, start working with the dough? Yeah. Yes. Don't take all. don't take all the three at once just take one of it right now and i'll show you the ones which i have but this one this is the single uh, serve uh, mold which can be used for uh, pies tarts and fish everything this is actually a muffin ring which i was talking about uh, so you can just make the bottom of it and uh, the sideways you can uh, fill and you can bake this also for the tarts it looks good rather than the pies like this only i am having shilpa wait just a minute i'll pin you i can't see it properly i'll just pin you is it firm uh, this is this is that muffin so we made that silicone muffin ah uh ah -huh. uh, it will be a little difficult for you to you know press it on the sides because uh, this is very flexible right so it will be a difficult little difficult for you but still you can go ahead if you uh, you can you can also use the regular uh, cups that we have to serve sambar even that also you can uh, use for baking it's not a so can we use a tray like this like this baking okay. tray a big one that you serve sambar at home sambar or chutneys that you serve at home you can use that also a steel cutlery you can use cutlery cutlery you can use or muffin tray also they can use right it is like muffin tray is absolutely fine yeah yours is glass use your steel not glass shilpa um oh, you no, need glass steel can be used but uh, we don't know if the glass is pure glass because that has patterns on it if you have plain glasses you can use that okay. uh, glass that is used in microwave no that thick uh, glasses borosil or cello glasses can be used i have these touch can i use this which one yeah that can be used that can so these touch shells or or like you said this ring we can use right Yes, yes, yes. Rings also can be used. Ah, this can be used, Shilpa. Oh. Yes, you can use that because it shrinks by itself. So it'll be easier for you to demold. Also, you don't have to worry about demolding. You can just, uh, anyways, you can just uh, coat it with a layer of uh, butter, or uh, you can you can just grease it with ghee or something, even butter. Okay. So let me. we can grease them right they can grease these yes 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 you can grease them yeah pratibha it's fine just grease it with oil okay all is ready 
It's not it still completely, but mm -hmm. still we can go ahead since mine is quite nice. Yeah, mine is hard. Hard. Ma'am, it's supposed to be very hard. Not very hard, but at least a little firmer. Okay. So let us start. You can dust. You can dust the area with the flour, and then you can start with uh, rolling it out. You don't have to roll out really thin. You'll you'll have to roll it of medium thickness. I'll just show you how. Just dust it with that. It's not visible on the screen. Mine is quite hard. Good. Ma'am, you must roll it. Yes. Roll. roll it. Roll it. Mine is breaking. Okay. That's a little flat. Like how we do for chapati. Mine is also breaking. Because it will be difficult for you to lift when the when it has melted. When the butter melts off after cutting, it will be difficult for you to lift it. So it's always better to flour now and then. And roll it as fast as possible. It should be of this thickness. It's visible. Can you see? Can you see on the screen? Yeah, yeah. Please, everyone, look. It should be of this thickness. It should not be very thick. It should not be very thin. So you can cut it. You can cut it a little bit, little bit bigger than your uh, size of the pie pie mold. And start adapting it. I'll just show you how. See, now I have finished cutting it. Can you see? No, ma'am. Yeah. If you don't have that, how do you do if I don't have a cutter? You don't have a cutter, you can just cut it with a knife approximately. Okay. Round. round. You must cut it round, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. Cut it into rounds. Like how I have done now. See? This is around. So what do you do? It is better that you butter the mold. You grease the mold. You grease the mold. And then Try to. You try to see, put it in, and then try to uh, slowly adapt it to the walls. In gourmet classes, 
usually they uh, what do they do they have five beads that is like ceramic uh, round beads um, which are which are a little uh, bigger bigger by around 1 uh, uh, cm diameter those are called uh, pie weights they fill the pies with that and then they bake it when it is empty just because uh, because of the flakiness it would tend to you know uh, get bulges now and then so it is it is better to add some weight Uh, the cheaper way of doing it is adding some grains also you can add some grains like rice grains or rajma beans or uh, even the regular uh... yeah i use rajma yeah and add and you can bake it first and you can also cook it with a fork here and there <laughs> you can just have a look at it and uh, see that everywhere it is of even thickness as much as possible and it is smooth even if you add a little bit excess anywhere just ensure that it is evenly thick because when uh, see the ensure that even if it is thicker it is not an issue but when it is too thin it might tend to break when because of the sogginess from the apples letting out water so it is always better to be a little bit thick rather than being too thin here i have finished adapting it you can have a look at it i think i'm visible can you see this can you see yeah yes you want to see yes yes this is how you do it. Yes. Can you see mine? Show me. Yes, that is amazing. G. Can you see, ma'am? Yes, it's amazing, Shilpa. You can take out the other uh, other batch also from the freezer, like which is uh, out of out of three. We have taken only one right now, so you can yes, take it. the other one also and start doing. If you are finished with this. the re the remaining parts which are uh, from the cut out can also be reused you can just make it into a ball and you can put it in the freezer and you can continue it continue using it after if it is after it is firm i'll just show you another one with the ring also you just cut out the strips and start adding with the inner layer of the ring mine has gone too soft i'll get, i'll put this into plinkton i'll put this into plinkton and i'll get the next one mine is actually small one right yes 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 mine is also small but uh, this ring is big So and can you use a tray like this for a for a bit? Just cling film it and put it back into the freezer. Sometimes you know we can use like there are big piles like this, no? And I forgot the pan. The ones which you have finished also, you please uh, 
uh, put it into the freezer. Okay, now I'm asking, this type of pans can we do? Huh? Pans. She's, she's asking, can we do a one big pie instead of having small pies? Can... You can do that. You can. You can, you can. You can do that. Thank you. I have taken off my dough. They are frozen now. <laughs> so I'll wait for some time. But I have a little dough for strips I can do. When Are you going to do the strips now? Uh, strips in the sense I'm doing the strips for the ring one. I want to show one ring ah, one. Okay. okay. So I'm cutting strips for that. Haven't cut strips for the lattice. Yeah. Yes, amazing Pratiba. It, uh, I think it looks a lot thinner in the center. It will be better if you make it a little thick or you just cut out a thin portion and add on top of it. Because when it is too thin, it will start breaking at that point. When apple starts losing water inside the oven. So you all can check the apples now. My apples have started uh, oozing water. Yeah. So after finishing, we would probably uh, go on doing that. Yeah, I, I don't. I I think you you all can see what I'm doing. I'm just cutting out for the ring mold. I'll show you when I'm fixing it. See guys, so for the ring mold, what do we do? I've just cut. The round pattern and also strips for the sides. The, the round will go into the center of the ring, whereas the strips will be uh, molded to the sides of the tart mold. I'll just show you now. Which one of my friend, man? I can't see the camera. You can't uh, see. We it. can see it. We can see it clearly. Uh, you can uh, pin her or go to the speaker uh, speaker mode. You can see her clearly. It's good. It's good, Perilankini. Don't change it. Put it a little down now. You put it. Anyway, it's fine. Thank you. I'll just show you. Yeah, it's fine. So. So now, after placing the ring onto it, just press it to the sides so that the strips which we add to the sides. Fix nicely to this one. Because of the high butter content, it will be a little challenging for us to you know have the strips bond together. Even if case after baking, the strips separate from the bottom, you can still fix it up with chocolate. My son, my son fell down. My husband is taking care of me. Okay, okay. Ma'am, I can't see what you're doing. Little Just a moment, I'll show you. I'll show you. Wait, wait, wait. She's doing. Okay, okay. She cuts the suits and makes the ring as a basket. Okay. We are able to see you, ma'am. No, what she's doing, I can't see. Well, you, you, have you, you spotlighted her? Pin her? Or yeah, do we are all, speaker? You have to spotlight her. So that you can see her. We are able to see her properly. 
this is the professional way how it is sold in the market yeah yeah, yeah. okay french people like it this way <laughs> Ma'am, yeah. Wow, Kritiba, that is awesome. Uh, I could see that the rim is a uh, lot more taller. Uh, what happens is during uh, baking, it might get distorted because of uh, not. Uh, there won't be any support from the walls, so it is better that you make it in flush with the walls. That is you. You chop off the top thing like just take a uh, knife, take a knife or something. Yeah, you trick it. Yeah, hmm? you can trim off the edges on top. Take, take a knife and trim it. From. Or with your hands, you can do it, Pratibha. But it has to be totally. Shouldn't go above the pan. After finishing shaping with the molds, I would just give a simple tip to uh, make it look more clean. You can just smoothen the top surface just with your fingers, running it once so that it gives a better look. I'll just show you this. Hello, ma'am. Yeah. This um, Anita Menon. This is okay. What? Anita is showing you. I can't hear you properly. Menon, who's this? It's okay. Anita is showing you. Anita. Anita. Yeah, Anita. yeah. Anita is just fine. It looks amazing. Thank you. And this also? Hmm? Yes, yes, yes. Anita, your looks, yours looks amazing. Thank you. Ma'am, I can't see anything what you're doing. Just a minute, just a minute, I'm showing you. Uh, you have to put her, uh, double click her for photo, you will cut it on screen. Okay. Otherwise, you will not be able to see. You have to know. Ma'am, ma'am, enda amkan da dale engine idawan. A picture, her picture, varu varna samethre just. Pradipa wants to show you Bailankini. Just see her. Pratiba. Ah yes, Pratiba. I feel the it is unevenly thick. The top ones are really thick, whereas the bottom portion I can see that it has it is thin at one region. Can you make it a little more evenly thick? Next one, she can roll one more and try. Right? One more you can try. Rather than doing the same thing, you try. Okay. So now, I hope you all can see this. Yeah. This is the ring hole. Actually, because of the temperature, it is melting a lot. So I'll just refrigerate it and I'll show you once again. After it is firm, you can still work a little more on it to give an even uh, surface. Because of the Heat. melting of butter, it has become too much uneven. So it's always better to pop it into the freezer, let it remain for five minutes, and then let us start working again. Just refrigerate it. Ma'am, ma the ma camera on on GM Anyway, she's just showing us how to do this. We don't need to do it. Uh, we made the other in Katori, no? That's enough. 
it has become too soft for me to work with. That's why I popped it into the freezer. I'll show you again. Don't worry. Now let us go for the apple filling. I think the apple filling has oozed out water. Yeah. Yes. How about yours? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let us drain the water alone using a strainer. Okay. And uh, put it on the stove top. Come straight here, come on. Straight in front of us. That's enough. Come. So let us add the excess uh, water, just drain it. Got a strainer, you can and drain it like this. Yes, uh, Pratiba, uh, can you uh, raise it a little more? Yes, this looks even better than the previous ones. Okay, good. I only I did like this, and I've kept the fr in freezer this bowl. Which bowl? Like this. Yeah. You just train this and get the fluid. I hope you are able to see. Now I can see. This much of water I have got. I'll just put it on the stove. You want me to show on the stove also? What do you do? Just tell us. How do you do it? If you put it on the stove, you allow it to uh, you know, thicken. Yeah. For around 3 to 4 minutes, you will just have to put it on the stove uh, for it to thicken. Yeah. That's it. So you go to the kitchen, keep it in the stove in the low frame so that this uh, thing will get thick, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Ma'am, I'm going to change it. Ma'am, can you do it? 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 Ma'am, can Apple at the body that eat at the one of the other name. keep it in the fridge. I mean, take it to the stove. We have to blow up and make it thick. Kill up for the day. She's showing see. Adapula vegetable, she started making a thick syrup from the liquid that is taken from apple. Okay. And the steam is making it. Uh... Ma'am. Yes, tell me. Ma'am, we have to put the butter. You have already put it, right? When we yes. were mixing the apples, you should have put that. Ma'am, I. 
But the steam we had in mm -hmm. a gas. Just a teaspoon. Just a teaspoon of butter you will have to add while mixing the apple itself. If you have not mixed, you can add now. I already mm -hmm. mixed. No, no, no. You already mixed? No. You didn't mix? If you did not mix, you can mix now. No problem. You can mix it with the water that is, you know, boiling right now. It is. Mine has become too a nice thick sauce. See? Pratibha, did you strain the apple juice? Uh, see? Strain it in a pan. Okay. Can you people see? Yeah, nice. So once it thickens, just uh, switch off and uh, pour it on the apples. Yes, you add it again to the apples. Uh, can you show the consistency once more if you haven't added? Yes, or have yes, you yes, added? I haven't added. Uh, I'll, show you, I'll show you right now. Just. Just like the caramel consistency, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So it's nicely coated with the apples now. Yes. If you want to cook everything like along with the apples on the throat top, you can do that too. But the only difference it makes is when you don't cook the apples uh, beforehand on the stove, stove top, uh, mm. it, it, it adds to be a lot crunchier and, uh, you know, it doesn't uh, shrink too much. But when you cook it on the stove top, it tends to uh, shrink a little more while baking. Okay. So if you like the difference in texture, it is always preferable that you don't cook the apples. If you want, you can do the apples too. So since we have mixed this apples now, we will start making the, uh, start filling the dough. Let me get it. Ma'am. Yeah, tell me. So we have to put the syrup into this, right? What? The syrup I'm we have to pour into the apple, right? I make it thick. The syrup to the apple. Yes, it has to be added to the apples. Uh, Pratibha, it needs to be a little more thicker. Show me again. Show me, Pratibha. Mm. A little more thicker. Wow. This is like a sauce. I feel mine should have been a little thicker because there is still some liquid. Or is it okay to have a little liquid? It's the... okay. Just leave out the liquid when you add it into uh, yeah, as a filter sure. into the tart. Sure, sure. 
tasty it is. <laughs> the smell itself now when the cinnamon gets cooked. Yeah. Wow. Do we need to switch on the oven? <laughs> Do we need to switch on the oven? This is this. I forgot to tell you that. Please switch on the oven and put it into 180 degrees. Preheat it. Preheat 180, no ma'am. Yeah, 180. Can we bring the filling? Hmm? Can we bring the from and take it out from the fridge for filling? 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 You don't want to put it into the fridge? No, no. The this thing I kept it in the fridge for the the dough. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. You can take it at the at the last minute. Wait. Let us just prepare the patterns now hmm. for the pies. So we have filled the uh, pie with this apple mixture, right? And now we are making patterns. Yes, yes, yes. No, we will fill it at the last. First, we will start making the patterns. I have already filled. <laughs> okay, no worries. Ma'am. Okay, after filling, you put it in. Yeah. Ma'am. Yeah. See. Ah, it is absolute, Pratiba. It's good. Now I put inside the apple. Yes, yes. Add it into the apple. Can you show it? Not able to see. Okay. ഇങ്ങനെ <laughs> You can put it in the fridge now, maybe. Yes, yes, yes. Because it's so hot, warm. So hot. Yes. Moreover, my hands are also warm. Yeah. I tend to melt it soon. So now let us start with the pattern. Just dust your work area and get the other one third and start rolling it out. It's too cold. This one. Thank you. 
has become too firm. That's why I needed it for a few minutes. And then I'm rolling it now. So now let us cut strips on it. Cut the strips of even thickness. Uh, Perinakini, you can move the camera a little towards yourself because we can't see the work area. Thank you. I hope it is visible now. I've just skipped no, no. the strips. I yes. haven't done anything. Can you show a little, little more, more towards yourself? Little more. Wait, wait, I'll show you. So, yeah, we can see the strip. So this is how I have made the strips. Can you see? No, ma'am. See? Ah, now, now I can see. Okay. Now. <laughs> So the other way, I'll, I'll show you the other way too. Come here. I have just cut the cut the round. I just cut with the same mold. Same mold, just cut on top of it. You can see here. Can you yeah. see? Yeah, yeah. So what do you do? You can either make just a small star, just just a cross mark in the center alone. That will be the plain pie. You can just make a cross in the center alone and uh, just a small star mark you can do and you can uh, put it back. Uh, I'm just, uh, I'm not doing that for you because I want to show other patterns to you. You can take patterns like this. If you have. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, what we do, you can cut out shapes any any shapes whatever you have you can just cut out <laughs> so can you see you can make patterns wow. like this okay okay Start pattern like this or even if you don't have this, just show you with one more piece. See? I'll just show you the small piece. You just have some piping nozzle like this, which is small. You just punch out small holes. So take a piece like this and the help of the piping nozzle, you just make small holes here and there you can punch it. Can you see? Can you all see? Yes. Yes. This is another method of making patterns. Whatever patterns you feel like, you can make even some zigzag cross or something. Now I'll show you how to make the lattice pattern. Lattice pattern is almost is also called as the basket weaving pattern. I've just cut out even sized strips. I think I'm visible. Yeah. I'll show you. Thank you. 
Oh, I have got this. You people can also get this one. The moles, which was filled. It should be a little form for you to work with. It will be easier uh, for you to make shapes and it will look pretty also when it is firmer. When it is too soft, it will be difficult for you to work and the shapes also will not be holding properly. Uh, so, refrigerating the dough now and then uh, is the key step in making a perfect dough, perfect lattice or, the, or any patterns that case. So, I think I'm visible here. Even strips, even size strips, even if you're not able to make it even size, it is, it is very fine. Even if you want to be very precise, you can measure it with a scale and you can do it. So, now I'm going to fill it with the apple filling. If it has let out water, don't bother. You just leave out the water and add in as much apples as it could hold. Uh, I forgot to uh, tell you a step or a technique where you can uh, prick the sides or the bottoms with a uh, toothpick or a fork. That would uh, help it a lot in case uh, even uh, not right now when you are baking it with the filling. When you don't use the filling, it will be better for it uh, to bake smoothly and evenly. You can prick it with a fork if you are not started. So I've got the filling here. Hope I'm visible. In case I'm not visible, please let me know. I'll start off with the lattice pattern. Okay. So you can just add strips like this. I'll show you where. Okay. Now I can understand. Thank you. 
Is this okay? Yeah, amazing. You have finished it. I'll put it in the fridge. So what do we do? We just we just add. Can you all see me? Yeah, yeah, we are watching. So you just add the vertical uh, horizontal line like this and in between you just hold like this and add one strip here. Oh, and hold it here. Can I say this? It's okay. Matt? Huh? Is this okay? Good. Yes, 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 it is amazing. But uh, the basket weave pattern actually has uh, one one layer going underneath the other. Okay, it is like weaving pattern. Yours also looks amazing. You can still do that also. You can follow up what I'm doing in case if you like this, you can do like this. Yeah. Now goes on top. Can you people see? Can you people see? No, ma'am. A little more. Yes, uh, yes, we can see. We can. So this is the basket view pattern where you raise the alternative ones uh, and you pull the, uh, you push the alternative ones and you finish it. You finish the work by sealing it to the edges. So this is how a typical lattice pattern of apple eye looks like. Can you see? Yes, yes, very ma nice. Yes, yes, yes. On top of this, uh, you just brush it with to have a good glossy look. And also, what do we do is we just uh, sprinkle little uh, sugar, granulated sugar, on top of it. Uh, it will look beautiful after uh, it comes out of the oven. So now we just bake like that, or we have to put something on top? Do we just put it in the oven like that or we put something on top before baking? On top of it, you can brush it with milk and sprinkle some sugar. Uh, okay, before baking. It look better. Okay. That's just, that is just, just as, you know, like for appearance. Yeah. Ma'am, in case we are not putting anything on the top, only filling is there. In that case, we need not sprinkle anything, no? We don't have to sprinkle anything. That will, that will still taste good. Okay. This is Thank best you. for appearance that we keep doing all this. Ma'am, ma can you see? Huh? When, when we are making this basket weave pattern, yeah, the strips are breaking off. How do we stop that? I mean, uh, that is because it is uh, getting a lot more softer. You just uh, put it back into the freezer or fridge and then uh, you start working. Okay. Okay. Half a few minutes after it becomes a little firm. Okay. okay. Now pop this into uh, this thing, uh, freezer in case if it has become soft because mine has become soft. Even before applying uh, milk, 
I would rather prefer to uh, refrigerate it. Uh, Ma'am, let me keep in uh, oven. Yes, yes, yes. Can you see this? If you, if you don't apply uh, any, uh, if you don't want to put any sugar or milk on top of it, you can directly bake like it uh, in the oven. So mine, I think you people can have a view of the ring mold, which I feel now. Ah, yes, ma'am. Wow, beautiful. But I don't have that. Right. Uh, how much time will you keep it in oven, ma'am? Uh, you will have to put it for around uh, 25 minutes. That depends on the oven. You can just open after uh, 20 to 25 minutes to have a check if it is brown. Oh, in 180 degrees? Yes, 180 degrees. These tarts must be special uh, tart rings, no? We have to purchase if you want to. No, no, no. Actually, you have tart rings. Those uh, cost very high. This is muffin rings, which I'm using as tart rings right now. Okay. This is called as uh, English muffin rings. And it is available for a much lesser price. If you have people in uh, UK yeah. or US, they would uh, be able to buy for you. Yeah. Sorry, this Pratibha, she wants to show you. Uh... Yes, yes, yes. I'll just see. Yes, Pratibha. It looks so amazing, Pratibha. I feel like Thank eating you. it right now <laughs> rather than baking it. It looks amazing. I put it in the oven. Yes, yes, you will have to put it into the oven. <laughs> Yeah, I have to. Look. Can you see that? Wow, this is amazing. You can just brush it with uh, milk on top. I'll bring it to the freezer first, then go. Simple sugar. Um, white sugar or brown sugar, man? White sugar, white sugar. So, Poonaji, I think. Uh, yeah, we are close. Yeah. Yeah, we can all bake and send our pictures. Lankini, thank you so much. Yeah, you took so much time, effort, and. Yeah. Wish. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So God bless you. The weather also. So, on behalf of all of us, we are really, you know. With your so you you took care Thank of her so well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So I think we will close because even yeah, all of us, yeah. you know, we are okay. Yeah. But uh, they almost learned everything. So we'll yeah. work on it. Yeah. And we will send you pictures. Sure, sure. And you can also uh, try Thank from you so uh, online recipes. You can just. Yeah. 
No, we all are weekends, maybe two, three. Uh, this uh, we, fillings also. Different yeah, variations. Yeah, fillings also. We'll try and send it to you. Yeah. Thank you so much. We'll do. Uh, um, Thank you so much. Okay, so, so. we'll just finish it with the conclusion. Thank you so much. Thank you. Samasta loka sukino bhavantu samasta loka. Sukino Bhavantu Samasta Loka Sukino Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 All the best for your teaching us on Akshat Vidya where in, in South India we yes, have yes. this function today so lots of Good learning, especially with the you know, cooking. Thank you so much on the day of Akshay Pradhyay. Thank you. Not actually learning. I would li uh, like to add that it was learning on both ways. I also learned from you. Thanks. It was a nice session. Uh, though it took some time. Uh, thank you everyone for spending time with me and uh, taking along. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Thank, thank you. Bye, bye, bye everyone. Bye. See you next bye. week. Bye. Bye, Ram. Thank you. Bye. Let us bye. post pictures. We will surely post pictures. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye, Ram. Bye. 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 Okay, bye, 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 ma'am. Bye bye. Bye bye, Deepa. Bye bye. Bye. It's every nice week, Deepi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a nice week.